Hi guys, I'm Sunday Bright and I want to thank you for popping in. Um, this is the first of what will be a series of videos to help you more to help you move through what looks to be a very tumultuous year of 2020. I have been reluctant to do YouTube videos so far, as you can see from the very few that are listed here, but in this day and age, I do feel that I have something to offer that can be that, that can help you all move through these trying times in a way that's right for you. I have been working as a healing practitioner for about 25 years now, trained in many modalities, which you can find listed at the bottom of my website, sundaybright.com, utilizing psychic abilities of clairvoyance and empathy. So I'm not going to go through all of the whole list, but you, if you're interested, you can go to my website. I'm a big believer that your outer world is a reflection of your inner world, and the events occurring so far this year have been an opportunity for all of us to work through the more global issues so that we can truly experience peace on earth. Um, I'm going to try to keep these videos short so that you don't get bogged down in them, addressing one issue at a time and offering healing for the issues for the issues as a collective. Um, I'm a little bit late in the game, I realize, as it is June, and this started around the February time frame, but I feel that I had to get myself in a place above the fray before I could help anybody else. And that took some doing. <laughs> I started on myself about the time that I heard that there would be a toilet paper shortage. Um, as we were about out, <laughs> and the whole, seemed thing, the whole thing seemed a little absurd to me. So I started digging around that time, and um, I found a lot of answers that, that caused me to have to do even more healing on myself. So I'm at a point now where I'm kind of above it. I see what's going on and I want to help you get above it as well. So you can see what's going on and how we can all work together in unity to raise the vibration of the planet and make it a better place for everybody to live. So in any case, although it won't be easy, there is an opportunity for tremendous growth in all of this. And when you can look at yourself in it all and how you might ascend above it, you do just that. You ascend above it, relying on no one, including any particular party, to create peace within and ultimately peace on earth. So my typical method of operation when it comes to any specific problem or challenge is to look at it for what it is. For example, to use one of the most recent incidents as an example, I'll address the topic of racism um, that is reflected in the in in George Floyd's death. I have written on I have written an article on my blog that you can find at sundaybright.com, but I wanted to talk about it here as well uh, because as I looked around, I noticed that in the black community, some said that they've never been a victim of racism. And some were still hurting from discriminating experiences that they had had in their past. And I'm here to tell you that it is the hurt that you hold inside that creates a belief that makes your experience exactly what you believe. So when you heal that hurt by neutralizing the charge that you hold deep inside, you shift in a way that gives you more, a more powering, empowering perspective. And I know, I know how easy it is to get caught up in the emotion of it. And if you can find a way to release emotions in a healthy way, I'm all for it. In fact, that's part of the healing. But if you continue to blame, resist, and deny the truth of the matter, you won't be able to fully heal and things won't change. So at this time, I'm going to move through a sort of express healing. I've actually done healing already, and I transcribed the healing as I did it, and that's what um, that's the blog post I was referring to a little bit earlier. Um, but this is an express healing that will that will be activated in you as soon as you view this video. And what I see, um, like I said, I tend to just I tend to tune into the the problem itself and notice what it tells me uh, and when i tune into the collective consciousness of those who hold the vibration of of being a victim of of racism what i see is what i would call a protection of self 
setting boundaries, and being separate. And there's nothing wrong with individualism. Uh, you want to be able to be who you are. But when we separate ourselves from others, um, you get you 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 get the experience of separatism. You get the experience of being separate, and that could be equated to racism, or that could be a symptom of being separate, of having this um, of a feeling like a victim of racism. And but generally, you know, that comes from somewhere. So when I look to see, the next thing I do is I look to see wh where this comes from, what what incident. Um, as a whole might have created the, this vibration. And what, I, what I'm getting is, is a feeling of like the visual in my mind is someone who is, who is fighting, looks like they're, they're pulling away from, like they're fighting for what's theirs. They're fighting for what, what they want. They're fighting to be able to do what they want. So there is this, this, energy of of having to fight for what you want um of maybe not having anything of your own or something along those lines and so i um i tuned into that and and because there's no such thing as time or space and i have tools that i've created to help me with these processes. Um, some people who may, be, who may be viewing this video know that I um, trained in EFT and it's something that I started using to, to neutralize negative emotions um, when I first got started. But I've kind of come a, come a long way since then and I do it in different ways. Um, I have done it simply by kind of merging with it myself and my own balancing energy clears it. But, but, but recently I started creating jewelry and this is a tree of life symbol on a seed of life um, symbol. And this actually neutralizes it. When I, when I project the, the energy of this piece at the pattern that I'm seeing in my mind, I can I feel it in my uh, in my body as it shifts and releases that charge, and that charge is everything. That charge is what leaves you feeling. You know you're going to continue feeling like you have to fight for what you want. You're going to have to can you continue feeling that there's um, that you have to fight for what's yours, um, or that you're losing it, or along those lines. Um, but when you neutralize the charge, everything changes. And so if you just, you know, if you're watching this video, the, the, the best place you can be is focused on your heart center to receive the healing energies that I'm sending out now. So focus on your heart center, get out of your head, just imagine your consciousness going from your heart and your head into your heart and just allow that energy to be neutralized to be released and um i'm gonna just let that sit for a minute while you all feel the release taking place while it's releasing tuning into that pattern to see what happens with it because when a when a emotional charge is neutralized it takes you to a place of um, having more clarity it takes you to a place of more of who you are or what you of being able to see what you could learn or take from that situation and um, so when I try to interpret what I'm seeing 
it is a um, it's a feeling of being more appreciative, more um, more grateful for what um, for what you do have. And I'm here to tell you, when you are able to be grateful for what you do have, the universe brings you more. Um, so that said, when I look to see what um, what your potential is, what you're meant for in having had an experience like that, what you're meant to learn and where that might take you, um, I get a visual, I get a visual, I get a feeling of of connectedness, of family. I see a, a man who's putting a child on his shoulders. There's a feeling of peace, there's a feeling of connectedness, there's a feeling of family. And with a feeling like that, projected out into the universe, wouldn't it make the whole world better if we all just had that feeling of being one family, of being connected? And another thing that I like to do, um, I use my tools for, again, there's this, um, I also have a pointer. So I'm seeing, it's kind of like I'm seeing this possibility in the quantum field in front of me and so when I point to it with my wand and I use this to, um, I, use, I use the tree of life to not only release all that is not what this is, it also brings in energies um, that help create this vibration. So it makes it very quick. Um, it makes it very quick. I've created these tools. They're kind of like um, a program. I used to be, uh, I used to work in computers. I did a little bit of programming, but mostly troubleshooting. Now I troubleshoot people's energy fields, but I still use programs. I still use programs and I still use tools. And this tool is pointing to the possibility of, of connectedness, of a feeling of being family, of a, of a feeling of having peace um, for all of you who are watching this right now. While that which is not peace, family, and connectedness is being released, and that which will help bring your vibration to that is being downloaded into your energy field. I feel that shift take place. And that's going to be, um, that's going to be continuing for, for up to a few days. And so, um, you know, when I say that a release takes place, that means that emotions, that the emotions of, of racism may actually come up and you want to allow them to 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 release what if you cry if you punch a pillow you want to do it in a um in a healthy way you don't want to go do, you really don't want to go burning down a building <laughs> or anything like that you want to allow it to release and just notice just try to just be noticing this release take place almost like you're stepping outside of yourself and noticing and um, know that good things are happening to bring your vibration to a place that helps you rise above any challenge, any problem, and onto a place that's better for all of us. Um, but like I said, this is an express version of the healing, um, and yet it's very pow powerful. I generally go into much more specifics of when I'm one-on-one -on -one with a person. In fact, this is actually the first group, um, group kind of global session that I've ever done. Uh, I like working with individuals. I like seeing specific patterns and specific past incidents for the person. But a greater, a greater healing is needed these days, so that's what I want to do. Now, um, 
not all of you will feel that this applies to you and you may have other aspects that contribute to this overall pattern, but this is a common denominator residing in the morphic field of racism. Um, to learn more about how you can heal anything, you can get my book at thetransformativereading.com or you can get my journaling outline at howtotransformproblems.com. I have created a more in-depth training at consciousness101.com. But there's steps you can take. And my favorite thing to do is to use the journaling outline because it's going to take you kind of through the steps that I just did. It's really six steps. We're, we're looking at what this is. When you can kind of step outside of yourself and look at what this is, whenever you're feeling bad, what is this in yourself? <laughs> you know what I mean? You're looking at those feelings. Um, it's, it's, it's six steps, but it's three parts. Looking at what it is and looking at the negative emotions, they kind of go hand in hand to determining what your what the problem vibration is that's creating the outer world that you don't want. The second steps are looking at what you can learn in that situation, how you what power can you gain, um, how can it make you a better person, and in realizing that you raise your vibration. The second two steps have to do with asking the universe for help. And you can do that, whatever you ask for, um, the answers are provided and then you notice that's the, that's the sixth step and part of the third part. Uh, so in doing that, it becomes a matter of getting yourself neutral by going back to the past, uh, incident and realize there was a power you were meant to learn that it's not about it being somebody's fault. It's not about you being a victim. You can't heal and you can't, you can't um, obtain a power if you're being a victim. So it's about gaining the power and um, moving to a better place, advancing along your path, advancing, advancing along your path to the purpose that was meant for you in this lifetime. So again, um, documents that can help, uh, material that can help. Um, the transformative reading.com will give you an overview of 10 things you can look at that will help you um, determine how you've, how you've obtained the vibration that creates a problem. How to transform problems.com is the journaling outline. That's only like six pages, um, explains everything in six pages and consciousness 101.com is more about exercises keeping you um, trying to make a habit of this process because as I was about to say when you can get into the habit of getting neutral um, and then you know what I call zero point you can actually pivot to the experience you want to have but you but you've got to be neutral you can't be in a crazed emotional place you've got to figure out what the lesson was what the power is and how you can get there with that power to what you want. So anyway, thanks for watching. I do this type of healing with individuals two days a week and can help you with about anything you consider a problem in your life, whether it be related to your health and appearance. I do, I um, have sessions for weight and cellulite all the time. Uh, those are two big ones, uh, career or money or relationships. I can help you with. So um, if this has been helpful, I'd love to hear your comments on anything that I might want to add or anything that you would like to see me do a video, video on. I'd love to help. So um, please subscribe and uh, leave me a comment. Thanks so much.